Welcome to the Touch Bar tutorial for voiceover. Um, today we are going to go through the gestures so the touch bar is now illuminated and when you have voiceover on if you have the 2016, 2017 and 2018 versions of the MacBook Pro with touch bar you have this. It's basically a touch screen uh, strip on the top of your keyboard. Escape button. Back forward. Icon view. Touch bar. Hop over. Quick look. Share. Tag. Touch bar. Expand control. Display brightness up button. You are currently expand control strip button. Display brightness. Audio output. Volume low button. You are current. 21%. Volume up button. You are currently on a slider. To start interacting with the slider, double tap and hold on the touch bar until you hit close button. You are currently on a button. There we to go. Press this button. Double tap anywhere. So now I have the touch bar illuminated, and the touch bar is like an iPhone on a little strip on the top of your computer. It's on the top where your function keys usually are. That's where it's at. So um, currently I am sitting on my desktop. So I'm going to show you where I'm at. Doc. Safari. Four of twenty. Doc. Doc. So if I go to my dock. Siri. Launch ad. Three of twenty-three. Uh, I'm just going to go you to my desktop. Right escape. Now. Escape. Escape button. You are currently on a button. To escape button. You so, are currently on a button. To press this button. Du now the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're gonna go, let's take advantage of the touch bar and let's go to Safari, for example. I'm, I'm just gonna do it. In grid zero item selected, application, window, escape button, Safari. There we go, let's open up Safari. Finder, Safari. Desktop, Christian's map, Safari, favorites. Safari's a great place. Search, search Shut up, voiceover. Uh, Safari is a great place to take advantage of the touch bar because it's got all your bookmarks on the touch bar, so if I start going. Dismiss popover, Apple button, iCloud button, Yahoo button. Bing button, Google button, Wikipedia button, Facebook button, Twitter button, LinkedIn button. So say if I want to go to Twitter. To press this button, double tap anywhere on the touch bar. Say if I want to go to Twitter. Vertical launch pad three of twenty. Vertical splitter collapse on Twitter button. H T. You are currently on web content. I could just double tap on it, and I'm on Twitter. You're in control. Twitter currently shows you more personalized ads on and off Twitter. Escape button. Twitter web content. So. You are currently on a button. Shut up, voiceover. Okay. So I just navigated to Twitter using my touch bar. Now, you can also, uh, you basically cannot swipe left and right like you can. Like if I go right now in here. Search button. New tab button. Search button. Go forward. Search button. You can swipe. You are currently on a button. To you can swipe from left to right like you can on the iPhone, which is very useful. New tab. Expand control. Display brightness. Audio output volume. Mute off button. Siri. Toggle button. Mute off. Audio output. Display. Expand control. New tab button. Search button. And to you open something up, you double tap like you do on your iPhone. HTTPS slash slash twitter.com. Content selected. Search or enter website name. Edit text. Has alternate items. Search or enter so, website name. Now, it's similar to the iPhone. There's really not much to it. I'm going to show you some more advanced stuff here in a minute. I iCloud button, Yahoo, Bing, Google, Wikipedia, Facebook, Twitter button, you are latent, but the weather channel, Yelp button. So you are currently on a button to press this button. That's that. Now, if you want to turn the brightness or volume up and down, which are sliders, so let's go into sliders with the touch bar. Yelp button, TripAdvisor, expand controls, display brightness up button, audio output volume medium button. So let's do you the are volume. On a button to press this button, double tap anywhere on the touch bar. So we are in volume. What you're gonna do is you're gonna. There's multiple ways of doing this. 58% volume slider. You are currently on a slider. To start interacting with the slider, double tap and hold on the touch bar until you hear a rising tone. Then scrub left or right. So you can double tap and hold. 58% volume slider. You are currently on a slider. Volume up button. You are currently 58% volume slider. You are current 58 per 57 29 72 100%. 95 85 per 78 76 percent. Boom. So super simple. Let's do it with brightness. Dismiss pop -over. Apple button. iCloud button. Apple button. Dismiss pop over button. Closing menu. H display brightness up button. You are currently on a button. To press this button, double tap anywhere on the touch bar. 90%. Display brightness. 90%. Display brightness slider. You are currently 90%. 100%. 74, 71, 88%, 93, 95%, 94%. Escape button. You are currently on search button. You are currently on a button. Boom. So that's the basic navigation of the touch bar. You double tap and, and slide to the left or to the right. So double tap and hold and then you slide to the left or to the right. Now let's get out of some stories and let's show you some, some more complicated stuff here. So I'm going to go to 
uh, application that does not support the touch bar, like that has a normal function key. So what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna do um, a virtualization virtual application. application. Safari. Virtual box. Oracle VM virtual box manager window. So this is an application. This virtual box is a virtualization, and it doesn't support the touch bar. And I'm gonna show you how that looks. Escape button. You know, expand control strip display brightness up audio output volume mute off button. You so, are currently on a button. An application that does not use function keys, you will notice because when you put your put your finger on the top left of the touch bar and then you move to the right, you'll hear nothing. Escape button. You'll hear that noise. You are currently on a button. Two. As you know from the iPhone, that means that there's nothing in there. Now if we go to Finder, desktop. If we go to an application that has function Increase keys. Your item select. NetBeans 8 point application finder desktop. So I'm opening up NetBeans, which is, which is what I use for Java. You are currently on a system dialog. And this. NetBeans 8.2. Jay. I don't, I don't, I don't, come on, voiceover. I'm going to kick you. Um, Java, you know, this is an advanced app, so I'm not going to talk about what the app does, but it's basically for programming. And uh, when you have a new project, for example, I'm just going to create a new Java project. Busy. Uh, so this is a new project, and um, now when I want to have any function keys, tab control escape button. You are current escape button. Expand control display brightness up. Expand control strip button. Boom. You are current. Expand control strip. When you hear expand control strip, strip you have all your function keys. Close button display brightness display brightness up. Mission control display display close button. You are currently on launch pad button. Keyboard back keyboard back lights up button. Rewind button. Play toggle button, fast forward button, rewind button, keyboard backlight up, keyboard backlight down button, launch pad button, mission control button. You are currently on a button. Display brightness up, display brightness down button. You are currently on a button. To press this button, double tap. So it expands the touch bar. This app does not support the function keys completely either. It's very hard to find, you know, some of them to support F1, F2, F3, but it does give you extra options that way as well. Safari, and that means 8.2. Um, so the touch bar allows Finder. basic functionality, and Safari. even if you don't have the application open completely, Fine. Safari, uh, you get some options as well. Like Safari is open, but it's not Nine really. Five Mac. Just public. It's not really with any pop up So let's put a finger here. New private window. New window button. So you are currently on a button. Just by having the browser selected, you can actually open up a new private browsing window or just a normal new window. So if I do new window. Search for enter website name. Edit text. Has alternate items. Yahoo but iCloud button. HTTPS colon slash slash www.icloud.com. Leaving smart search field. Boom. And I'm an iCloud. I don't want to let it load. Because I don't want to let it load because it'll show you my email and password. So, um, yeah, but you know, the touch bar has a lot of uses for it. Uh, some, so, some good application to take advantage of it here. Close window. Increment zero item. Select X code. Applic X code. You are currently at Safari. So I'm going to show you an application here, which is an which is another application I use. I'm just showing you what Xcode. I use that I know takes advantage of the touch bar. Xcode is Apple's programming uh, uh, foundation software, so IDE. Clone button, new project button, new playground button. So you basically, uh, when you have apps that take advantage of it, they have their own label. So this one, for example, has new project and new playground. Escape button, new playground, but new project button, clone button, new project, new playground, new project, new playground button. Choose a template for your new playground. You are currently on T. Xcode is source editor, edit text, playground cyber. And then for example, in this program, I get more options now to manage the program because what the touch bar is trying to do is it's trying to uh, save you some keyboard commands and some extra uh, strenuous, uh, you know, having to go to file, edit view and stuff. You don't have to do that. A lot of it is in the touch bar and the touch bar is customizable. Execute playground. Go left. Dip. Go right. Dip. Comment selection. But jump to definition. Edit all in scope. Show res source editor. Expand control strip. Display brightness up. But expand. Show result. Edit all in scope. Jump to definition. Comment selection button. Go right. Dim button. Go left. Dim button. Execute playground button. Escape button. You are currently on a button. To press this button, double tap anywhere on the touch bar. So I can get like suggestions and different things. Uh, the program has. Of course. Execute playground. Execute play. Escape button. You are because currently it's on a made by Apple. Because it's made by Apple, it's got very well usability of the touch bar. 
Um, now the touch bar is customizable. Safari. So I could go. Safari has a customizable option. So let me see if we can get to the touch bar customizer. So we can so I can show you that as well, which is fully accessible. Menu bar, Apple, Safari, File, Edit, View, History, Bookmarks, Window, Help, Help, Menu for items. Some applications have it, but this one Escape. Closing it's menu. very uh, usually it's in help and it says touch bar, customize touch bar. I, I usually don't see it often, so uh, I guess this is it. This is our tutorial for the touch bar. It's very useful, it comes in handy. Um, Find Safari Finder, desktop, sometimes, desktop. MacBook Pro, full. sometimes you can do really cool stuff. Forward, dim button, back, escape, back, four icons, quick look button, icon view, touch bar, popover. You are currently on a touch bar popover to display desktop. Christian's so, MacBook Pro. Full. The only problem VoiceOver has is it wants to talk way too much with the touch bar because it's something new, so it describes way too much, and it gets annoying. But there's no way of turning that off. Tag, tag, touch bar popover. Share, touch bar popover. Quick look button. You are currently on a touch bar popover. So as you see, share, you know, and, and a lot of your options you would use if you were going through a photo you, or a video or something or a music file, you can go to your touch bar and hit share. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys take good advantage of the touch bar. I know <laughs> the touch bar is not the most favorite thing in the blind visually impaired community. I've seen lots of people who buy these computers and they get the 13 inch because they don't want the touch bar. But the touch bar is fully accessible and it is very, very, very handy. Um, it does kind of uh, babysit you because you don't have to remember all those keyboard commands and you're like, man, I remember when I used to do all this through keyboard commands. A lot of it you don't need keyboard commands anymore. Or if you're just too lazy to get your hands off the keyboard anyway, you could just do the keyboard commands, but you do have the option for the touch bar. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, rate, subscribe. You know what to do. I will see you in the next video. Remember, Blind Power has Instagram and Twitter. So, uh, go over there. I'll be posting. Uh, I'm trying to post as much as possible over there. So, see you in the next video and on social media. Goodbye. Hit the subscribe button and remember to enable the notification bell to get all notifications of blind power uploads. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.